Hello and welcome to another book review. My name is Rudolf Mensa. If this is the first time on your channel, please, on here, I bring you lessons from books, from movies, from music, lessons for successful living. Because I believe that 95% of our problems is due to ignorance. And what you don't know may be in the book you never read. So today I'm going to share with you my top seven lessons from the book, Who Moved My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson. This is one book that's changed a lot of lives and it is an international bestseller. But before we begin, I have a special appeal for you. Kindly subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friend. We need to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so we'll be able to monetize this channel and invest into buying new gadgets like microphone, a camera to shoot high quality um, resolution videos for you and bring you quality content. And we need your help to be able to do that. So kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way, whenever I upload a new video, you would get notifications. And I am uploading a new video every Monday, every Wednesday and every Saturday. Three times a week, I am bringing you content for your development and we need your help to be able to grow this channel and make it free forever. Let's get in. Before we begin, there is a quote from the very beginning of this book, which I would want to share with you and I love it so much. It says, life is no street and easy corridor along which we travel free and unhampered, but a maze of passages through which we must seek our way, lost and confused now and again checked in blind alley but always if you we have faith a door will open for us not perhaps one that we ourselves would ever have thought of but one that will ultimately prove good for us by aj cronin and this sums up the whole theme for the book and so we get into my top seven lessons from the book who moved my cheese so let's begin lesson number one there is no security in life never settle always have options lesson number two just because you had something yesterday doesn't mean you have it today lesson number three simplify everything and take more action than analyzing past situations lesson number four don't get stuck in a cheeseless situation just because you are afraid of the risk of the unknown lesson number five always ask yourself what would i do if i was not afraid lesson number six be flexible and open to change life becomes easier that way and the last lesson for today is know what is happening around you be open to exploring new opportunities and environment so let's begin before we begin i'm going to give you a background story to what this book is about there are four characters in this book sniff scurry ham and how sniff is someone who sniffs out change early then scurry is someone who scurries into action ham is the one who denies and resists change as he fears it will lead to something worse or how who learns to adapt in time sorry adapt in time when he sees change changing can lead to a better outcome so these are the four characters we have in the book and we are going to pick lessons throughout the seven points i'm going to share with you there are more lessons out there but i have disturbed them into these seven lessons which you can take away and apply in your own life right away so lesson number one there is no security in life i don't know how to put this but we've all seen that things have changed over the last 10 20 years i saw a picture where a videographer was in a helicopter shooting a video in the area view of a video for maybe a movie or a film about 10 years ago that was how it was done but now we have drones that people pilot from the ground to shoot videos like that so 10 years ago someone who had a job the pilot and the videographer are all gone because now there is new technology to replace that kind of job so <clears throat> sorry when i said there is no security in life it is more about you adapting and knowing that things are changing constantly and if you are standing still you will become obsolete so don't bang your hopes on something that you have maybe your job your relationship it is good because once you have something that is good we want to hold on to it and it says that the more important your cheese is to you the more you want to hold on to it but there is nothing like something you can hold on to forever so you always have to have an open mind that things are bound to change and when they change what am i going to do it would just be easy if you had a map to the maze if the same old routines worked 
if they would just stop moving the cheese but things keep changing life keep changing new technology comes up so you can never say you are secured with whatever you are doing you need to learn new skills and adapt to the changing scenes of time lesson number two just because you had it yesterday doesn't mean you have it today anyone who was born from the 90s the year 2000 you would see that things are changing fast then let's compare to those who were born in the 70s and 80s they see the constant change of technology and how things are done in our time me being a millennial i have even seen more than enough change in my time so things are changing so whatever you think you had yesterday there is no guarantee that it's going to be there today if you don't open your mind to change and accept and adapt to the changing scenes of time you are going to find yourself against time racing against change because you want to wait like him because you are afraid that when you change things are going to get worse but that is not how you have to say things you need to understand that anticipating change will get you ready when they move the cheese because they are going to move the cheese somebody is going to move the cheese things are going to change in the industry in which you are so the better of all the faster you are in anticipating change the better you will be in adapting to the change lesson number three simplify everything and take more action than analyzing past situations you know sometimes we look back at how things used to be and how you used to be and used to be is no make no honey what i'm saying is that you need to look forward with hope and take action on changing your situation instead of just looking at back at how things used to be it doesn't matter how things used to be we are talking about right now who are you and what are you doing and where do you want to be five ten years from now that should be your focus the quicker you can let go of old cheese the sooner you can enjoy new cheese because somebody is going to move the cheese so if you're not looking forward to enjoying the new cheese and you keep holding to the old cheese then it's going to get stale in your hands and by the time you realize that you can no longer eat the old cheese it will be too late for you and lesson number four don't get stuck with a cheeseless situation just because you are afraid of the risk of the unknown and then sometimes we are afraid of change because we don't know what is going to happen if we move to a new state if you go or if you go back to school if you start a new business we don't know what is going to happen and so we want to get stuck with the old relationship even though we are abused and unhappy we want to get stuck with our old job because there is security they give us insurance and health care or we want to stay in a particular town because we are afraid of what will happen if we move to a new surroundings and because of that we stay at a place even though we are not happy if you live your life that way i am so sorry you can never experience the kind of happiness you actually seek so don't get stuck in a chiseless situation because you are afraid of the risk of what might happen and it is safer to search in the maze than to remain in a chiseless situation so always go out there and be adventurous don't be kept at one place because of fear so always have to ask yourself what would i do if i was not afraid if you are not afraid of failing if you are not afraid of what might happen what will you do he knew sometimes fear can be good when you are afraid things are going to get worse if you don't do something then it can prompt you into action but it is not good when you are afraid that it keeps you from doing anything so what he's saying here is that you need to know how to use fear to your advantage if you are afraid that things are going to get worse it should propel you into getting up and doing something instead of coiling back and not doing anything because of the fear and if for example is me when i talk to some people in the consulting room uh someone is a diabetic you you ed educate the person about lifestyle modification and changing their diet and stuff like that and they don't really want to give you their year but you tell them of the complications of what might happen if they don't cut down on their calories intake and reduce their blood sugar they pay they start to pay attention like when i tell a man that he's going he can become impotent or he can lose his sexual strength and then he begins to pay attention to what i'm saying because now he sees what he stands to lo lose if he doesn't cut down and reduce his blood sugar what i'm trying to say here is that sometimes people need the fear to turn them into taking action or prepare them into taking action because the fear can let you know that if you don't do anything 
things are going to get worse and if the things are going to get worse then you have to get up and do something about it but don't let the fear keep you from doing something because of the fear of failing don't let it stop you but instead let it propel you into going into action lesson number six you have to be flexible and open to change life becomes easier like that don't get stuck in a cheese or one area of your life because you think you are comfortable that way or you are stable and you don't want to disrupt anything like we said from the beginning things are changing the world is moving forward and you need to adapt to the changing scenes of time if you do not change you can become extinct if you do not want to change then you can become extinct look at dinosaurs for example yeah but what i'm saying is that if you are not ready to change then the world is going to move past you and by the time you realize you no longer fit into the new surroundings it will be too late for you the last lesson here is you need to know what is happening around you and be open to exploring new opportunities and environments things are changing so you need to smell the cheese often then you will know when it is getting old if you don't know if you then learn more about what is happening in your industry where you work the what your area of specialty is or where you stay if you don't know what is happening in the stock market in the business world then when things start to change you wouldn't even know so the best way for you to stay ahead and is to sniff out opportunities ahead of time is for you to smell the cheese often ask questions learn what is happening in your surroundings that way you will know when things are getting old for you to adapt or move on to new territories so these are my top seven lessons from the book who moved my cheese by dr spencer and so sorry dr spencer johnson share with us in the comment your favorite lessons from these top seven lessons and if there's a lesson you learned from reading the book add quotes around it and put it in the comment section so others can learn as well and if there's a book you want me to review kindly leave it in the comments and i will get to work on it thank you for coming this far with me but before you go i want you to check out this video 30 books to read before you turn 30 i give you an incredible list of books that will help you with your personal development i will leave the link in the description and once again kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon before you leave and share this video with a friend help us to reach 1000 subscribers and get 4000 watch hours that way we can monetize the channel and keep growing and investing into buy, buying new gadgets and creating quality content for you thank you so much and see you on the next video